Welcome to the tutorial on getting AI squad mates to follow you. So to start off with, we need to load up some US Marines for your squad mates. Go into the database view, open US XML. Okay. Then the archetype entities tab. Open that up. Grab yourself a grunt cover or a grunt camper. Just any one of those out. Right, that guy will do. Okay, so now we've got our soldier, we need to create a flow graph. So, area trigger, create new flow graph. Okay, so to start, we need a misc start node. So at the start of the game, he'll start to follow you. Okay, so then AI execute assign your squad mate and then on the action up here on the inputs you pick the action Sprint combat alerted. Then you need to add a go to game and then local player. Add that, link that into the object ID there. Okay, so now he should follow you. Yeah, you see? The only thing is, when he catches up to you, he stops. So, what we need to do now is add a logic, logic any. So, put that in there. So move that to the first in there. Okay. And then when he succeeds, link that back into the logic any there. Which will create a loop going around where he'll keep following you. So now as we can see, when he gets to me, he keeps following. Okay, now that's pretty good. We're nearly done now. But if we want combat, he'll just keep following you, which isn't very good in combat. You want your troops to spread out, you know, give you some cover and all that. So, what we need here is a AI alertness filter down at the bottom here. So it should look like that. This is a quite a clever little node as it um, will allow you to do a different action when he's in combat. So, what we need to do assign the entity, set the threshold to 2, which is the stage just under combat, so like being alerted. Link the input up to the logic any and then here so when he's below threshold 2 which is the low here we want him to follow you so when he's not in combat he'll follow you when he is in combat however we need to create a loop and that loop will keep going round until combat's over then when his threshold goes back below the 2 he'll follow you again also keep the success there linked back in there so you should have two loops, one from the filter, one from the execute. So now he'll still follow you. And when he catches up with you, he'll keep following you. And if we put some A enemy AI in, so we need to load the database view, Asians new XML. 
go to archetype entity Asian new okay so we'll put some enemies over here okay so my squad mate will now follow me okay we've got enemies spotted so now he breaks off and we'll fight them Okay, the dead. So now he continues to follow me. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching this tutorial.